Let's talk about it. This is the Matt Beck Podcast. Today's episode is powered by MinervaBeauty.com. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Matt Beck Podcast. Today, uh, I want to talk about something that is important. Um, I made a post on Instagram last week, and the post got quite a bit of attention. Um, some of it positive, some of it negative. So I want to get into the guts of what that post was really about and um, the message that I'm trying to, to deliver because sometimes um, when you post something and you post words and then it kind of takes on a life of its own when you make a post and it starts to get a lot of comments because people read into things wrong. And what I want people to understand, this post, um, I made it seem like it was a commission percentage post. It was, uh, you know, 40% versus 60%, that kind of thing in the salon. And what I want people to understand is that is not the case whatsoever. What I was saying is that whether you make 40% or 60%, if you're not doing all the other things that make you a successful hairdresser, then it doesn't matter the commission percentage. You're still not going to be financially successful. So, and even, I mean, obviously people look at success differently. And so when I say success, I'm saying financial success because we're working in a job and typically our job, um, the way that we characterize success would be financially, right? Um, or that we're happy doing it. So um, hopefully you're all happy doing hair and to be able to be financially secure doing hair is the goal, I would think. So um, so with that being said, I want to get into the guts of the post, what I was really saying and so that you know we can start the conversation off that way and everybody can really understand it. So The other thing that was really interesting to me about this post was that I made the post on Instagram first, um, and then I automatically shared it to Facebook as well. And the reaction on both platforms was unbelievable. So Instagram, which I would say is a majority younger crowd, um, everybody was pretty positive about the post, understood it, read it, um, really got it, right? Um, very few people on Instagram kind of got extremely upset about uh, commission percentages. And then on Facebook, it automatically, first uh, comment was right away, just really, um, you know, took offense to the post. So, and then it starts a thread of a, of a lot of people. And Facebook just seemed to be a little bit more of a negative place. So I found that interesting as well. So think about that. And think about when you make posts on different platforms, who you're trying to reach, right? And I've talked about this before, but I didn't really think about it in this post because honestly, I didn't mean for the post to have to do with commission percentages. That wasn't the goal. So when you think about um, when you're posting on Instagram or you're posting on Facebook and making different content, you got to realize that you're uh, reaching different audiences. That was my first lesson from this whole thing. Now to talk about um, the post, what I said was, um, whether you make, so I said, I'd rather make 40% of $150,000 than 60% of $50,000. So that was kind of what the image said. Um, so if you didn't actually read the post, you just look at that and you say, well, I'd rather make 60% of 150000 So, you know, I got a lot of that kind of comment. And what I was saying is we need to figure out how to up the game, make $150,000, bring that in, and then you can worry about commission percentage. You can negotiate. You can do whatever you want with your salon after that. I don't really care about the commission percentage. So, and if you're bringing in 150,000, you're going to be happy. Um, you're not going to be worrying. You're not thinking about the commission percentage. The problem is, and it, it happened with me when I first started doing hair, I was so focused on my commission percentage um, because I wasn't bringing in the volume of hair or the volume of money um, that I thought I could get a higher commission. So then I would just instantly make more money. And that's, that's not the mindset that we want to be in as a hairdresser in the industry. So the first thing is build a better relationship with your customer. That's the first thing. And a lot of people don't think about these things, but what I said in the post was build a better relationship with your guests. For instance, listen to the things they're saying about their hair and then offer some exciting things for their next visit. So as hairdressers, we, um, we get our guests in the chair and then we're very quick to, uh, just do what they asked, 
right? They want a single color. They want uh, a trim, whatever, whatever it is that they're booked for that day. But we're not thinking about the next visit and getting them excited for next time. So in order to kind of up your game and get them pumped to come back in, which when they're excited to come back in, that ups your frequency of visit. And in turn, when you get a higher frequency of visit, you start making more money, right? It ups your rebooking percentage because when you make your guests excited about the next visit, um, they're excited to come back in, then you're going to make more money because you're guaranteeing that guest is coming back in within a certain amount of time, right? So you can all let your guests walk out the door and not think about, uh, not talk about next time, not get them excited about next time. And you know, they're probably going to come back. Let's just assume they are, but you don't know when, right? And frequency of visit is so important because the, the difference between you letting your guests come back in, let's say you just say, you just send them out the door. You don't rebook them. You don't get them excited about next time and they don't come in for three months. So now you've got a guest, instead of them coming in eight times a year, they're coming in four times a year. So you're cutting your pay in half. So you should be more upset. And this is what I was saying in the post. You should be more upset with yourself on that aspect. And that is easier to change than just digging and trying to get a higher percentage on commission. Like think about it that way. Now, that's the first thing your guest relationship, get them to come back in sooner, get them excited about their hair, talk to them about things, listen to what they're saying so that you know uh, the things that they're looking for with their hair and then you can promote and, and get them back in. The next one is average ticket. So the average ticket number you should look for in your salon is basically an average of the services that you do. So if you take the total number of service dollars that you bring in for the day, and you divide it by the amount of guests that you have for the day, that gives you your average ticket. Now, if you don't know that number, then it's something that you should definitely look up um, and definitely, even if you have to do it by hand, because if you don't know what that number is, then you don't know how to grow from it, right? So look at that number, then think about getting your guests excited. So what I said in the post is grow your average ticket by staying educated. Think about how often or how when you when a new product comes out in the salon, right? We get a new product in the salon and it sells because it's new, it's cool. Everybody is educated on it. They can't wait to use it and try it. So all the clients buy it. So with services, we get bored in the salon because we're never trying anything new. We're not really, even if we see something on the internet, we go back to our guests and we do the same old thing. So if you stay educated, it gets you excited. It gets you wanting to try something new. You learn something new. You want to try it on your guests. You try that new thing on your guests. Then all of a sudden you have a higher average ticket because you're automatically selling things without actually selling. You're just excited to do them and your guest is excited. So now she's going to want to come back in sooner. So it's a win-win for everybody. And the last thing was change your work experience. So I said, take pride in the way you prepare for each guest. When you're not with a guest, get a mannequin, try something new. Keep busy. There's nothing less motivating to yourself and the people around you than complacency. Focus on these three things and yeah, focus on these three things. DM me in three months and I want to hear the changes in your mindset and your paycheck. So that was the post. Um, so I think when you guys think about that, I wasn't talking about commission percentage. I know it's a big issue in the industry. I personally, as a salon owner, don't believe that anything over 50%, the problem with that is there's not really any money left. And if you want to have a successful business, then you have to have money left. Like salon should make money. Salon owners should make money. They're taking the risk and keeping the door open. So if you're a person that chooses to work at a salon, then you're choosing to be a part of that, right? And you have to focus on the things that are really affecting what your paycheck is. And those are the three things we talked about. Building better relationships with your guests, your average ticket, and also the experience that you're creating at work. So that was my thought. I'd love to hear your thought. If you're following me on Anchor, um, so the Anchor app, you just download it on iTunes, anything. Um, but if you're listening to it on that, I'd love to hear a voice message from you about this podcast. If you um, 
you're on any other platform, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, whatever it is, you can leave a comment or go to Instagram and send me a DM at Free Salon Education and let me know your thoughts and hopefully that you maybe listen to this and understand it, right? And and whatever your thoughts are on it, I love to continue that conversation because if we don't have the conversation, we can't grow from it. And I would rather get into the battle right now and figure this thing out so that we can all, you know, start working together on growing the industry instead of just fighting for like a percentage, right? Because if you're making, if I can take you from bringing in, let's say 70,000 in services and make you now bringing in 140,000 in services, then that commission percentage, 5% here, 5% there, doesn't really matter in the big picture, right? So with that being said, I'd love to hear your comments, post them, and thank you so much for watching this podcast, listening to what I'm saying, and uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about it as well. So thank you guys so much for listening, and I will talk to you guys on the next podcast. And remember, guys, this podcast is brought to you by MinervaBeauty.com. They're my good friends. They have the best salon furniture in the business for the best price. They have a giant warehouse that ships your stuff super fast. A lot of times you have to wait weeks and weeks to get your stuff because it's shipped from another country. So check out MinervaBeauty.com slash FSE. And uh, you got a special deal on there if you go to that website. So MinervaBeauty.com slash FSE. Thanks for listening.